Hey nerds, we are talking about the other black girl again. We are going to fully spoil the season, starting now. Welcome to the Nerd Social Show, I'm Nathan. Hi, I'm Paula. And I'm Kondra. Hey, so, quick note here at the top. Our conversation lasted a while, so we broke this into two parts. If you haven't checked out our conversation about episodes one through four, the link should be up there. All right. Spoilers ahead for episodes 5 through 10. Then in 5, yeah, in 5, we actually get... So she, they, in 5, at the end of 4, we we get Shawnee, right? And Owen doesn't want her to meet her. And then I think more and more weird things happen with Eve throughout the day. And is that in 5 or is that in 4? I forget. This, this... Well, I think at this point, so Hazel has gone to Owen's school, which... So he's, he's, but he's also worried about right. Nella. And yeah, I say, I think there's like general confusion just about, about her. But yeah, everybody's to be, or Hazel is now trying to get Nella really the full, because at this point, kidnapped Shani. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So before this, she goes to Shani and yeah, that it, does. And she, yeah, she's, and that's because they kidnapped Shani. Right. Like you said. And it's funny. I it actually, so I, I'm looking at, we're looking through vit photos that they, that, that Hulu provided us. And I think there's a little, there's, these are a little bit out of order not a little bit a lot of order but usually they have some of them that are supposed that show up in another episode i think the karaoke thing was in one episode i don't know if the going over to her house was in the same episode because at the end of the episode shawnee is captured right like she she like yeah. a lot of things yeah. happen at work and then at the end of the episode shawnee is captured and 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 then we go to the next episode but i forget the other things that happen in this episode i think what mostly happens in this episode is the it blows up the there's a lot of blow back like the sensitivity reader leaks leaks it yes. and it becomes like a social me- it becomes yep. like a big issue for the firm and i think this might be the episode where vera was was fired as well because we have this com- we have this meeting with richard and hazel that that malika yeah. sees because malika happens to be in the malika happens to be in the restaurant right and they think that it is suspect but after she comes back after he comes back for that meeting is when she he fires vera i believe in this in this episode so yeah Shawnee gets kidnapped in this episode and we see her chained up at the beginning of the next episode in in Hazel's house again at this point you don't know what the heck is going on you just know like a bunch of women rolled up and kidnapped Shawnee as she was going into the karaoke bar we don't see those women until later on we see those women those same women at Hazel's house so we get clued in a little bit but it's at this point just random weird things are happening this at this point Hazel has a whole like crew like to kidnap people it was weird at the end of that episode and so yeah at the end of episode six sorry episode five is when she was kidnapped and then yeah except episode five and episode five is also when vera it gets gets fired oh i know what i was gonna say i was because they really kept you guessing because there was that moment where hazel freaks out when she finds out that nella was going to meet shawnee because i think she had alluded to this person she left boston because she had a co-worker really yeah yeah and she uh, fre- yeah yes she I think she, it's beast to something because she seems so genuinely afraid and even right up to the moment I think towards the end of this episode where she's in her house and you, she's like peeking out in fear but then she goes upstairs and Shawnee is there chained and like the show just kept you guessing well okay she's not afraid of Shawnee because Shawnee is in our house so what actually does make Hazel afraid right what is you like what is her role and so I, I think I like in retrospect enjoyed not really knowing because like well, they kept teasing you and you seemed like bits and pieces of things and not really being able to put it yeah. together yeah the show was fun in that way like you didn't know what was going on because she did she did freak out right she she freaked out and I think at this point we didn't know that she was chained up in her house she freaked out and she said right. why did you why did you do this you, <laughs> I told you there was a girl up in Boston who didn't seem didn't look out for me like you you should expect and I did change my name and this is why I changed my name because she's been chasing me. So yes, she tried to basically yeah. gaslight Nella. But her boyfriend freaks out as well yeah. too, right? And you only see her boyfriend once, but that poor moment where Owen is like in the barber shop. Yes. And the barber like freaks out as he's cutting his hair. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he and Malika basically get kicked out of the barber yes. shop. So that's like another little story that just doesn't get anywhere else. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. 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 I was, I'm not sure. This is the only time we see the boyfriend. It's not clear that why she would have a boyfriend if she was doing this mission. I guess maybe the boyfriend is part of the cover, just like her, her working at that nonprofit is part of the cover. So maybe. Yeah. But yeah, the major things that happen in this episode is that the Vera gets fired and Shawnee okay. gets kidnapped. Then we move to episode six. I think this is, this, and also episode six. At the end of the episode, we see that Shawnee is chained up in her place. And then at the very beginning of the episode, there's this, there's this ritual that Hazel goes through where she's she's getting ready and then she gets she gives Shadi some food and at this point we don't know what she's going to do with her because we don't know that she's converting women so it's, it's very unclear at this point I still think she's a killer or she's she's like a murderer or something because she has her chained up and it doesn't seem like any good thing could happen here or this could end well for Shani and I guess depending on the way that you look at this I guess it didn't end well for Shani but I was expecting her to be killed because I didn't you didn't know what her yeah. deal is yeah it is her feeding her it's it was a super weird what do you think of this guy what's his name Let's jesse see. do you want to hang and follow yeah i i liked him up until the end i like that he had integrity to what he believes in he did not jump ship to work for a company that he does not believe in he i says, like his yeah yeah i like his old vibe and everything at the end as we know he's now part of the Reiner team which i believe that they kidnapped him and put a whole lot of grease on his head because he had he also looks like he has conformed yeah he yeah. has so hair anymore his hair is all neat yeah I, I wasn't sure and actually you know what I forgot to mention at the top of the conversation now that we're almost been talking for an hour I mentioned last week that the they reached out to us suggesting that we talk to the director and this maybe this is so we can, we can ask the director it's very unclear to me whether he just sold out or if he was under the influence of the grease because he does mention that he went to the barber and then he was like i think i thought about it in a new way so it was clear yeah I, I but also I, just by the way he was dressed just like yeah. all of these women afterward they had straight hair they look corporate yeah. america professional he had the same make makeover and to me that told me that they he was a voluntary converted i, I thought so too, as they but... were talking i remember the party that she went to that she they crashed and she talked to just mm -hmm. his agent and his agent i think was like a woman with i think she shed straightened hair but i was like i wonder if his agent the was the part of it because you you get to the agent you get to him but again yeah like the barber would have also made perfect sense and i think he was just like an involuntary um well, Kurt, yeah, maybe that's whole... why hazel's dating a barber for the meds no, no, no. <laughs> because i think this was a part of their yeah. plan i think that was like jesse was also like very intentional a part of diana's plan like to release yeah. the book so they i think they just had all these pieces like waiting and remember hazel took her to yeah wanted her to meet this person like to crash the party and meet yeah. his agents. I feel as we're talking about this, I'm like, oh yeah, like all of this was like happening in the background. They were like making this okay. plan. And, if and she, then also, if she so, yeah. no matter when they had their last conversation, when he he agreed to start working with Nella. When they zoom out, there was a black woman with straight hair looking suspicious looking at them. Spy, oh, spy on them. I, th I think it was, yeah. I think, is it Shawnee? It was converted. No, it, was it, was, Shani, it, was converted yeah. it was a converted. It was yeah. A, yeah, it was a converted so, Shawnee. So at that point, Diana knew that Jesse, that there was a whole plan going on there between Jesse and Nella. So I'm pretty sure they kidnapped him and their thing with him. Yeah, and in, in retrospect, it, it makes sense that they were targeting him because they wanted to use his the clout that he had garnered over years as a vehicle to put their put their own words in his mouth. But when I watched this, it was unclear to me. I, they did mention the the barbershop thing. I, I thought maybe the reason that they cast like a light skinned guy in this role, like they were trying to hint at or make fun of or have a critique of someone like Sean King, like a person who might who's like a light-skinned activist who who says a lot of things that that you want to agree with but might be shady so okay. i thought i thought that's what they were going for like he maybe he wasn't he didn't really have integrity but he was really a sellout but may, but since they mentioned the barber and as you said they 
it seemed like the the long term plan was to ride off of his clout. Maybe he was always a target, and maybe he is genuine in what he's what he's saying, and he was affected by the grease. He would be <laughs> the only, he would be the only guy. The other thing that gave me pause is that he's the only guy in the show who was affected by the grease, right? So it looked like they were exclusively targeting women. Like Diana was seemed like she was exclusively targeting women for <laughs> upward mobility. So that's also why I thought that maybe he's just like he's just full of shit. It, it's like it was all talk, and they gave him they wrote him a big enough check. Uh, yeah, so. but I think that's also. I don't, oh, go ahead, Paula. I don't think he was part of the a uh, part of the plan until he was caught talking plans with Layla to take down Richard. Oh, you mean when? Yeah, what the well, when when Shawnee the, the converted yeah. Shawnee the converted Shawnee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Maybe that that that's that's what happened. Interesting. Yeah, it's possible. I think this is also this is an episode seven is also <laughs> when we see the we find a, uh, the dossier of women and uh-huh. also when we actually see the hair grease because what we see is the we have this party. And this is why I was saying that the images were out of I thing. We had this party and we see all the women who actually kidnapped Shawnee in the previous episode. And she snoops in her room and she finds the dossiers where we see the the voluntary and the involuntary. And at the beginning of the next episode, now let's freak it out. She has this, she basically has those, one of those crazy boards with the string with all the, the, the dossiers on her board on in the, in the beginning of the next episode. So yeah, that's what happens in this episode. Now let's find the dossiers and we get a sense of what the hair grease does. Does. We don't get we don't get a full explanation, but Malika's black is like, why are you putting something in this random stuff in your hair? Just, even Etsy makes you put stuff, put the ingredients online now. Yeah, yeah. Why are you? But that's but I felt like I could relate with that so much as a black woman because most of us black women don't just put anything in our hair. One second, we don't just let spray our hair or touch yeah. our hair. Yeah. Yeah. Even, was- <laughs> even Nella says that she's I've only let my mother and Malika touch my hair, so she even has. A, a bit of a pause before before she does it so yeah it's a, i think they were trading on that because you see the that relationship with hair between ken furry and diana gordon like early on right and i think <laughs> it's used at it's a symbol of like trust yeah and, definitely yeah and sisterhood and interesting so like when i was in kenya i got yeah, go ahead sorry yeah I my hair braided and i'm the same like i i haven't had braids in my hair since university i was with a co-worker and we were like oh it might be fun to do this thing together because you know we were like everybody's hair looks looks great like it it would be nice to get our hair <laughs> done and be there was this moment where we were in the salon and it was just like beautiful black women all around us everybody getting their mm-hmm. hair done and it just felt like this special moment so like seeing this i'm like yeah. i get the specialness of it and wanting to be a part of mm-hmm. that right and i think they were playing on her wanting to be a part of that to let her be right. down because you don't let just anybody touch your hair but now you're in this situation where you've been welcomed into this very special group, All these successful right? And black you, women. And you yeah. don't want to yeah. do, right, you don't want to do anything to offend the yeah. group, even though at that point they're like being suspicious. But it's, let's play on this very like cultural, like a ritual of the mm-hmm. longing, right? Because you have to be really comfortable with somebody to sit between their legs and have them do your mm-hmm. hair, right? That's a very vulnerable yeah, position is, yeah. to be in. So I thought it was like interesting. And the hair grease itself, right? That is like Paul says we don't just put anything in our (laughs) hair right we're very particular about the products we use not just because of ingredients but like what they do how do you get your hair to look the way you want it to look yeah it was a really interesting uh, tool to use to this is how this conversion and control is happening because it it actually happens in the real Mm -hmm. world right our hair holds a lot of power and a lot of meaning Mm -hmm. and symbolism for Mm -hmm. us yeah i was i was like are just a really and I think executed as well like they made the relationship like this is what and even for De- yeah for Nella and Malaika right it's it's a big part of their it's a big part connection. of their relationship as well yes yeah 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 it was it, yeah it's it was an interesting conceit to to have it be the hair grease and also like you said this is very black ritual this is a very but, black black woman ritual not just black women black black girls as well because they were they had flashbacks to they had flashbacks yeah. to her kind of in the room with her mother like in her head she was like thinking back 
to yep. thoughts of her mother doing your hair. Yeah. Okay. So in episode eight, we found out the connection between Richard and and the other women. We also see Jesse. I think Jesse. We also find that Jesse's turncoat kind of thing with Wag happens in in episode eight as well. We find Diana's connection to Richard. Yeah. So this is. I think this is an eight where he's definitely dressed a lot different than he was here. Um, and then, I don't know what his hair looked like before, but he is. He does look more more. What he looks like a Get Out character here a little bit. A little bit here. Yeah. I, I think that. Yeah. And this is also when Nella has the outbursts at the event also. And this is also the episode where Malika gets hit, right? She gets in, she had, she gets hit by the, probably one of the women in that squad. Nella gets, Johnny. it was Shani? It was Shani? Yeah, Shani. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nella gets kidnapped. Diana, you find out that Diana is the one pulling all the strings because they, because at the very beginning of this episode, Nella thinks that it's Richard because he's the one, he's yeah. the one donating to all these places. And she even confides in Diana <laughs> in the bathroom, right? She's like, Rich, Richard is doing this and whatever. That's why she has this outburst and she had, and everyone thinks that she's crazy. So yeah, this is a, this was a, this is an interesting episode for, for. A yeah. So what I think that gets resolved for me is the how, I think I'm less concerned about or curious about how the hair grease does what it does than how it came to be. Cause you see, I guess it's not hair, but later you see Diana use the hair grease on Kendra Ray, but also. And, it, and also how, the first scene that we see in the entire show is Kendra Ray on the Metro, like scratching your hair and almost bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Which makes me think that not everybody reacts the same mm -hmm. way, right? Because you see Hazel also had some bleeding mm -hmm. in one of the early episodes where she was scratching and bleeding, right? So maybe like for not everybody has this sort of complete conversion right. and that's a part of it. But I was like, what is Richard's incentive, right? Is he, did he just fall so much in love yeah, with Yeah, I think he's just in love with Diana. Right. Like they had, they, and he just, and whatever crazy game she cooked up, he was like, okay. Yeah, actually Malika come, figures this out before Nella is blindsided by it because she goes over to Vera's house to yeah. try to get dirt. And then she doesn't say anything all the way until the end when she was like, oh, she's he's sleeping with one of her his authors. It's, oh, it's not it's not Richard, it's Diana. So I think he's just been Diana, in love with her yeah. for years and he's he's just doing her bidding. And I guess he's I guess in a certain way he's he agrees with her program. Like it he thinks that it's an uplifting thing to do for black women. So maybe he thinks he's he's in a sinister way a, a well meaning white person. So maybe that's what maybe that's his angle. He's an he's ally. A, he's an yeah. ally. As, as long as you're sleeping with me, I'll do these things that you want yeah. me to do. Yeah. So that that's the sense that I get. Unless we find out that she's coercing him in some other way but i don't get the sense that she is i i think that he although she does dismiss him at a certain point so she can think or something like that but i think in, even in this episode or the next episode, i think it's in the 10th in the 10th episode but i just read that as him being whipped a bit she was able to say go away I, I need to think about my master plan here alone so yeah i think that's what his incentive was and i think in nine we get the history between diana and, and shawnee hazel's history with diana and shawnee and we also again in nine also get more about the hair grease i think we get more flashbacks we get more flashbacks with with kendra ray and kendra ray and a diana as well in, in in nine we all i think kendra ray yeah is in 10 she saves yeah in 10 kendra ray saves hazel nella nella, nella, nella sorry saves nella is yeah. it in 10 or in nine that she saves nella i think i, think, I think it's in in nine. it might be in nine yeah yeah. Well, yeah i was really surprised at hazel's history and it definitely made me feel empathetic feel for yeah. her because she had aspirations and diana really didn't she prayed on that hasn't set her up to be independent, no, she prayed she right? prayed like on the that. other one yeah yeah she yeah she prayed i mean her, on, what, he, what she says is that she doesn't have the pre pedigree to be free yet or whatever maybe these yeah. other women had gone to had gone to school and she hadn't gone to school yet so yeah she's still she's definitely on a leash it's definitely a predatory relationship that she has that diana has with her and i think that goes back to what you were saying earlier about using that very intimate ritual of black women doing hair as the the way to to corrupt them or to brainwash them is another predatory thing that diana does yeah that's the end of that's what happens in nine i think kendra ray saves her in nine and then in, in ten is where we get 
Kendra Way's real backstory because earlier on in the season, which I forgot to mention, Richard tells Nella that Kendra Way died. Like she thought, he said he's blamed it on stress or something like that. So we find out that Kendra Way is actually alive. She saves her. They go to, I think they go and check on the like in the hospital. And I think this is also the convert when, this is also the episode where Hazel says to Nella that you've made a bunch of compromises too, right? You went to a very white school. You forget this is very white place. It's it's not like you haven't compromised. And I, I thought that was a very, that's a student observation. And she's not wrong. She's just saying her sales pitches, since you're compromising anyway, why don't you compromise and not have to worry about all the things that you're worrying about, right? Yeah, it's unclear to- That is one of the compelling parts of the argument because you're like, yeah, like you do have to, I don't know, any of the dozens of things we probably do every day to to fit in to- or Sim say Assimilate. Fit in. Right, yeah. yeah. The most, yeah, white yeah. spaces. And, and what we haven't talked about is Diana Gordon's book, right? And the whole reason why like Nella wanting to, or find one finding out about the original mm -hmm. ending for the book, how that was like a lot more mm -hmm. tragic and dramatic, where I guess the main character dies instead of mm -hmm. the off into the sunset romantic mm -hmm. ending. So like that was Diana's compromise. And I guess it comes to head in episode 10, where you see that was the cause of the rift between Diana and Kendra, right? Kendra wanted the more realistic an ending that she thought was more authentic mm -hmm. to the characters was well and was yeah. like no i that want to sell yeah she wanted to like, sell. yeah i want to write something yeah that yeah like that white people would read basically yeah and i think so, we see, actually see a flashback to them on a talk show right and, uh, and they basically have a fight on the talk show and i guess they get the they bury the show because it wasn't a live show so that no one actually got to see that that public conflict that they had so yeah we because because as you said the note that nate that nella finds is she has assumes that it was a note that Diana wrote, but it was a note that 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 Kendra Ray wrote about the original ending, right? So yeah, this is what this is around the time that she's still trusting Diana when she finds the original ending. And I'm not, it's not really clear to me who sends it. I think it's Kendra Ray who gave it to her. So I guess she had been watching her from afar because I don't Hazel. Think, I, I don't think Hazel, Hazel gave it to her because that, that would go that would counter that would go counter to their plan, right? Hazel is working for Diana. I think it was Hazel. It was Hazel. Hazel did. And admit to dropping it off and i think that was their plan all along but That's how would that how serve I their plan could. that would just question the conformity thing that they're, they're definitely on the conformity or do what you need to get ahead tip right yeah and then but you get it and then you can do what you want i think is it she thing, does right? she you can you now have the right. freedom to do right. whatever. She does say that um, she wants to, like Diana does say, oh, Nella found this and she suggested that I, I republish this with the ending that I want to do, that I originally had and I want to do it. So she does say that she's going to do it. So maybe she did give it to her to do it. So maybe that is the case. <laughs> but we do know that Kendra Ray was watching because she does save Nella, right? She So that that's why I thought maybe that it was Kendra Ray who gave it to her, but maybe it was Hazel who at the, you know. in the from the instruction of Diana. But but I think it shows even Diana struggles with like being her true, her like her real self, right? Like you make compromises, but you still, I guess there's a part of her that maybe she still wishes she could right. express herself. Yeah. More yeah. Freely. yeah. Through this, you don't know which way she's going to go until the very end where Nella's on the phone and she's, I'm in. And she, she looks like she's, she's taking the hair grease. The conversation that she had with Hazel got through to her. She got her promotion. So she has Vera's office now and she actually she tells she she says the same thing that Vera told tells tells Nella early on in the season, right? She tells Nella to close the door, and she tells Hazel to close the door because she has work to do. And then we have the conversation with her saying that she's inside. It's very unclear what their what the plan is. I guess the implication is that they're gonna take it down from the inside or whatever, or, or expose every expose them. So I don't know if there's enough here for another season. Well, they kidnap Jesse as well, right? And so I feel like there is, but as I was saying, but we started recording like. I would be okay if there wasn't another season. I feel like they leave it at a point where you can imagine. Okay. I don't, oh, no, I don't say that to say. Okay. I feel. Like, I think I hate when shows leave you in this state where you're just like, I have to know. It's not a. This was a satisfying ending, right? right? It definitely has a lot of right. promise, but I feel like they left it. I don't. You can imagine where they're gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
and be okay. Do I hope they get a second yeah. season? Yes. I, I didn't but, read the original book, so I don't know, you know if there's more to the story. Uh, right. Yeah. But yeah, it could go a lot of different ways, right? Because Jesse's book, as far as we know, is still be set to yeah. be mm-hmm. published. But they've also kidnapped him, so maybe they're going to try and deprogram him. What does that look yeah. like? I also get the sense that Hazel has reached a moment where technically now Diana should free her. Yeah, she said this was the last one, right? This is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What does that mean for her? Where she, because she's been a person who for the last couple of years has just been this chameleon jumping from one to, it, yeah. to the next, getting women and converting mm-hmm. them. There's herself, and she had ambitions before this, right? She wanted to write and tell stories. Yeah. So is she going to get to that? Or is she going to be um, the, an accomplice in the, uh, in the takedown when Diana actually yeah. doesn't let her go? She, she, like she, right? like she said she was going to. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely, they're definitely places they could go, but if they don't get another season and hopefully they do because i think this is good enough and i know like i said some people didn't like it but i like i liked it enough that i and if they continue to write it like this where there's it keeps you get their other mysteries to to uncover i would like to one of the things that i that contributed to me giving this like a seven instead instead of an eight was like i don't need the hair grease to be completely explained but it would be nice if it was clear whether or not it was supposed to be a scientific thing or like it was a magic thing like i i you don't get a sense whether or not whether you don't get the sense that diana was like into wishcraft or whatever but yeah that's not that's not really clear like how you get a sense that she came up with the idea of the grease when they were young after visiting her at harvard and after seeing her in her job and seeing all the stress that kendra ray was under she was trying to help and i oh that's an interesting theory yeah she was trying to help and the first time she actually applied the hair the grease is after she blew up at her on that talk show right she was just trying to ease her mind (laughs) right she was like you were worrying about too many things this is yeah she was she but it would be interesting to see i don't know though i felt something sinister i don't think that might have been the first time she used that particular grease on her but i got the feeling that diana knew not that it, not that it was coming like just in a reduce your heart rate calming but that it was calming in Compli- a compliance compliant. i don't yeah. know because she because she looked, yeah i agree it was not it's the hard, first it's hard time to, that she looked was, a little it's, ashamed it's, or little, it's hard like, to tell like her yeah, yeah I, it didn't feel pure to me it didn't feel like i don't know this was just a friend i it i think it can be argued either way i think i, I could get where you're coming from and we've already established that diana is predatory right i think the relationship that she has with with hazel or eve or Kendra. i forget what her real name is definitely predatory we already established that actually targeting women in this ritual is, is predatory but i do think that she genuinely cared for and loves kendra ray i think Think that the original thought was I want to ease your burden because they otherwise why have those scenes in there with her at Harvard and her saying you don't understand you don't understand all the things that I have to think about or things I have to oh yeah I don't dispute that but I think go back to the last episode look at that scene mm-hmm. in particular where she uses it after the fight and look at Diana's like her body mm-hmm. language and her face because there's something about it to me that said like she knew what she was doing wasn't yeah. quite right like it was wasn't yeah and i felt yeah like that was the moment where their relationship just fundamentally so, changed and then kendra ray seemed to have issues yeah, she, with it. like she that's when she started it to head yeah. Um, yeah yeah i didn't read I, like when i watched it honestly I, I think your reading is valid i think the way that i read it was that she didn't know what whether or not it was going to work she didn't know whether or not it was going to do something that she didn't understand that's because obviously this is version 1.0 of it right she doesn't know if it's going to have well, a ill effect on her friend that's how i read it the head i read the hesitancy hopefully this will work but i want to ease her burden but also i'm experimenting and i don't know i don't know yeah yeah Yeah. that's how i read it but i I think your reading of it is equally as valid it's a really unclear if we have if we actually have a conversation with some of the creators there's strikes going on right now so we can only speak to the directors they're the only ones who have a who can freely speak because they have a contract because if we have a conversation with creators maybe we can ask that again we're nearing the end of the conversation but another reminder that if you want us to talk to the creators you should have a comment down below let us know that i don't know is there anything else you want you guys wanted to talk about from the season we've been talking for an hour and a half hopefully this edit edits down to 45 minutes but any other thoughts before we close up close out the conversation i think we covered we covered everything pretty pretty much yeah all right well it was like the more we talk i actually really enjoyed talking about this because there was i think there was so much sort of um symbolism and i had to laugh when you made the comment about sean King yeah i thought that was i definitely I thought that was that a- like Jesse 
Yeah, no, I think for me, it was like here, it was, I think that there's a lot of discussion and discourse about how like how black men don't support black mm -hmm. women, right? And here was this, he was ready to support a mm -hmm. black woman. And then you see that switch. Yeah, offered like, her a job right? and everything. So it, and yeah, yeah, I, I definitely, so like yeah. when I saw him and, I, and the fact that, like I said, that they cast the lights can do, what, the other thing I thought about was the movie, the movie that, that we reviewed a movie a year, two, two years ago, the movie with Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X in the hotel one the night, night in Miami, Miami or something yeah. like that one there night. was this co there, there was this comment by one of the guys that you that one of the guys in that conversation I'm not sure if you watched the movie that the light-skinned guys are always the most militant <laughs> about their views that's the other thing that popped into my mind where they were trying to try trying to throw that in in, in Malcolm's face because he was saying that other other people in the room weren't doing enough for the cause so that's the mm -hmm. other thing I was thinking about as well it's also what I thought also when I saw that I was thinking about Sean King as well so I I thought that's why they chose the light skinned dude, but I don't know. Like I said, maybe that was my, why reading into it a little bit too much. Maybe he was just, he was corrupted and he was he was brainwashed. I guess we will see if there's a second season. So uh -huh. anyway, that is what we think. But we want to hear what you guys think. You've already started to comment a lot, so we want to hear more. And also let us know if you want us to talk to some of the creators as well, and we'll reach out and try to make that happen. All right, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. All right, bye guys. Thanks.